What is SRHR? Sexual and Reproductive Health and Rights SRHR, are the different human rights related to sexuality and reproduction, such as sexual health, sexual rights, reproductive health, and reproductive rights. Everyone is entitled to SRHR. It's an essential part of universal health coverage, which ensures physical, emotional, mental, and social well-being. How many people could SRHR impact? Most people who are denied SRHR are women, men, and young people living in poverty in developing countries. But this is an issue that people around the world face. There are approximately 4.3 billion people who will lack at least one essential sexual or reproductive health service over the course of their reproductive life. Marginalized and underserved populations face greater barriers to sexual and reproductive health services and challenges as a result. This includes LGBTQ people, displaced people and refugees, racial and ethnic minorities, people with disabilities, sex workers, immigrants, and indigenous peoples. How do people benefit from SRHR? We can prevent unintended pregnancies, improve maternal health outcomes, prevent and treat STIs, including HIV AIDS, and tackle associated discrimination and stigma. Ensuring women's and girls' sexual and reproductive health benefits everyone. When they have access to SRHR services during pregnancy, nutrition improves and survival rates increase for them and their children. Having the ability to plan whether to have children, how many to have, and when to get pregnant makes women and girls more likely to stay in school, have more employment opportunities, and fully participate socially and politically. How can we ensure everyone has access to SRHR? Comprehensive sexuality education is critical to ensure that young people know about their bodies and their rights. Increasing access to a range of modern contraceptives, particularly for women and girls, gives individuals the power of choice and control over their futures. Ensuring access for everyone who needs it to maternal and child health services prevention and treatment of HIV and other STIs, safe abortion services, and psychosocial support can help save lives and strengthen communities. Why invest in SRHR? Investment in SRHR is proven to improve health and well-being and reduce poverty and inequality, while also promoting economic growth and positively impacting families for generations. It is estimated that in low- and middle-income countries, it would only cost $12 or less per person annually to meet all women's needs for contraceptives and maternal and newborn health care. How can we take action? Global citizens must raise our voices and tell leaders in our communities and at the local, regional, and global level to increase respect for SRHR, especially for women and girls. Support greater investment in SRHR services for the most marginalized and vulnerable communities and empower young people with accurate information and education about human sexuality. The more we learn about sexual and reproductive health, the better we will be to demand to protect our human rights and those of others.